You know what's really disgusting and really embarrassing that I'm about to share with the internet because like why not? One time I was eating these blueberries and <laughs> it just like seeped through on the pillow and it looks like it's like purple dye like marker or something but no. It's blueberry juice. So I've been wanting to make this video for the longest amount of time. I've been so fascinated by the idea of what happens to you after death. Any one of my friends will tell you that like I go on long philosophical rants for hours on end. So we're gonna be talking about that but before we get into it I just want to make a disclaimer. We are we're gonna be talking about the afterlife, we're gonna be talking about reincarnation, we're gonna talk about past lives and energy and spiritualness and a whole bunch of other type of stuff. You might want to sit out for this one unless you are open-minded. I'm definitely not trying to like shove my beliefs down your throat. This is just open discussion. Also, this video is sponsored by Abakin Life. I've been procrastinating making this video like all day because I can't stop playing this app. I swear I'm putting more time and energy into making my Abakin stylish and cute and dressing nice and having the best life that I'm forgetting about the stuff that I have to do with my real life girl. So yes, this app is very, very addicting and they now have a new feature where you can actually record your gameplay on your Android devices and post them to YouTube. So if there's anybody out there who's into that and wants to like make like gaming videos, you can do it directly through the Android app. This app really does seem to have a huge YouTube community. So you'll have no problem making new friends on it. It's actually really easy and really fun. So now I'm gonna be demonstrating how to use this recording feature in this app. It's super fun super cool as you can see right now I'm in a scene I'm hanging out with everybody look at my guy look how cool he is look he looks more snazzy than me girl basically all you have to do is click like the settings app right here and then it says like enable video recording click that and also you can go to the enhanced graphics option if you want to do that as well make sure that you accept all the permissions like you're gonna have to accept the video the camera whatever like that and there are also options if you don't want to use like all of these you can like move this thing around too, which I think is like super, super dope and super convenient actually. But yeah, after you guys have recorded it, all you have to do is just tap the recording button again to stop it. Then after that, you can just view it in your media player if you just want to laugh at it and watch it. Or you can directly upload to YouTube so that other people can laugh at it with you. So you can download the app by using the link in the description below. But if you're too lazy to like go down there, cause me too, you can go to get.avakin.com slash Colin Berry. Go get the game. You'll be obsessed. You'll be addicted. Let's play together. So now let's talk about these conspiracies. So these are things that I have been thinking about for a while. This video is not going to be like really researched or things that I found other people mentioned. This is mostly stuff that I've been thinking myself. Oh my god, Colin, you came up with your own conspiracies? What, girl? <laughs> Everybody, I'm pretty sure, has at some point in their life. Unless you're super young and you don't know that you die yet. Oh my god, girl, you got a rude awakening coming. And in that case, you probably shouldn't be watching me either. We're your parents. The universe is definitely a very real thing. But sometimes I wonder after death, are we born again as humans? Are we born again as animals? Are we born again in different planets? Sometimes I think about that. Have you guys ever watched the movie The Host where this like old soul like kind of went into this girl's like body on earth and she's from an entirely different planet? This universe is huge. What if there are other planets that have life on it? And when we die, we just like rotate. And then like after we've learned like the biggest lesson we were supposed to learn after all the past lives and all the whatever, that's when we like die and like vanish completely. That's obviously like a pretty like out there thought, but um, um, it would explain why some people who are so young are so wise for their age. And have you guys ever had deja vu? That's another thing I want to talk about. A lot of people think that it has something to do with the parallel universe. My deja vu is so bad. Like it literally freaks me out so much. I could just be sitting on my bed and the way that I look at the door, like it's weird stuff. The way that my clothes are like angled on the floor, it will literally give me deja vu and I don't understand it like at all. Or conversations that I have with people, I feel like, oh my God, I've had this conversation already like what the hell in the exact same way like it's weird what if we just live life over and over and over and over again and every single time that we relive our lives we learn more about ourselves and become smarter and wiser so by the time that we've lived this life like a hundred times we don't make the dumb decisions and we just have a completely like happy and content and satisfied life once we've learned all the things that we were supposed to be like taught you know, like not a perfect life because I don't think that'll ever be possible. But like if the typical person lives like 80 ish years or something like that and they keep living that like a hundred times, they're bound to be way wiser and they're bound to be way happier. I don't think past lives necessarily have to mean like you were an entirely different person. Like a lot of people believe in that too. And I do believe in that as well. That I could have been like a woman living in like London <laughs> before I was like a boy living in the US. But it would explain deja vu too because if everything happens over and over 
over and over again, maybe we have some recollection of that. Now this one's really fucking disturbing and it's something that I've thought about too. What if we're already dead? Oh my God. Why am I like this? <laughs> what if we're already dead and when you die, like your afterlife is your life. Like there is no other life but yours. It just continuously plays over and over and over and over again like a movie. Like you're just in your casket and it's like a film that just like plays like over and over and over and over again in your head. That's fucking creepy. But of course there is the very traditional idea that when you die, if you were a good person, you don't commit a whole bunch of sins. Girl, I'm already going to hell because I committed too many girl. I forgot to finish, but yeah, the traditional idea that if you don't commit too many sins that you will go to heaven. So now on to resurrection as an animal. There are already religions that believe in this, but I definitely do believe in this concept as well. I think that it's very possible that if we are terrible motherfuckers and snakes in real life, because you know there's some real life snake that we might turn to a snake when we die. You know, we might turn to a slithery snake because that's how we were in like person. And if you're kind and sweet, you might turn into a dog because dogs are so kind and so loyal and so like awesome. You know what I'm saying? So what if you're like kind and sweet, you turn to like a dog. And I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, I've seen so many cats that constantly look like pissed. Like what if those are like the people that we had in our regular life that were just like constantly like grumpy and like irritated and like hated life? Cause I'm like that sometimes. Like I probably would have turned to a fucking cat. They look fed the fuck up. Like they do not like anybody. And that's not all cats, but you guys know what I'm talking about. They think they run everything. Like cats, they want to run your house. Like they want to run you out of your house. Like these little tiny animals. I swear a lot of animals have human mannerisms. Like that's what I'm saying. Like a soul is a soul. And I genuinely think that some of these animals could potentially be people who are reincarnated as animals. Like I definitely think so. What do you guys think about that one? Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, that is the end of this video. I know this was shorter than most videos that I do and was more of me just like throwing things that I like made up in my head. I get it. Like this is not like a professional conspiracy theory video. I promise I'm not running out of content. I just really wanted to make this video because to be honest, I want to know that I'm not like crazy and like I'm not the only person that thinks this stuff. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just a fucking weirdo. <laughs> but I feel like there are other people out there, especially because you watch conspiracy theories that might be interested in like philosophy. Somebody? Anybody? But I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you so much for supporting me the way that you do. It means the absolute world to me. Hopefully I get to meet some of you guys at Playlist Orlando. Comment down below if you're coming. Who am I meeting? Who am I hanging out with? But yeah, subscribe if you have not already. Click that like button. Click that bell to be notified every single time that I post a new video. And also, make sure to go download Avakin Life if you have not already. Girl, what are you doing? The link is in the description. Was that supposed to be a wink? <laughs> I don't know what that was. Oh my God. All right, see you super soon with a new video. Bye. <laughs>